Well, hello, and welcome to week 20. I'm Ray. <laughs> you can't even see me. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm Jason. <laughs> and we are currently at a rest stop in Texas. We just crossed the border from New Mexico to Texas. We are actually going to be just like dipping down and then going back up into New Mexico because we're staying at Carlsbad, uh, New Mexico this week. We're stopped at the rest stop because I forgot our coffee mugs and we can't function without coffee. This will give you a little sneak peek into what the RV looks like with the slides closed and us trying to get coffee mugs. So, these are our slides closed. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna crawl under the table so I can walk over to the other side and then get the coffee mugs. It's also nice that our stairs come all the way down while it's hitched up. I mean, they come all the way down all the time, but we've seen other fifth wheels where the stairs don't come all the way down. So even when you're hitched up, like you still have like a massive leap to take, but it's nice. It's easy access. I mean, we can access the bedroom completely and the bathroom completely. It's just, if we wanted to get into the kitchen, as you just saw, it's nearly impossible. Um, we can open one fridge door as well, which is nice when we pack lunch and want to keep it cold and stop and get it. So you got to make sure you got your plates and anything in the pantry. Yeah, otherwise you're doing what I just did and you're crawling under the slide and or under the table and through the slides, which we don't like to do. Anyway, so we also wanted to share with you this week we are doing something we've never done before. <laughs> We do not have a reservation. That goes against like every fiber of my being. <laughs> but we figured it's okay. We called um, a state park that we want to stay at yesterday and they said that they had spots and they had room and um, their first come first serve, even for a rig our size, was looking very good for us. So he made us feel pretty comfortable with it. So we're going there. We do have a backup. As much as we don't like KOAs, we did find a KOA up the street. They have availability, so if worse comes to worse, we'll be staying at a KOA again. Well, let's get back to the road. Yeah, wish us luck. Hope we get a spot. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> we did it. We have a spot at Brentley State Park. Brent, Brentley, Brantley Lake, which is right there. <laughs> Wasn't bad. We found a spot. Hardest part was probably just navigating some of the turns since state parks aren't normally made for large and long rigs like ours. But other than that, no problems. I have to say the best part about this place is it was $98 for the entire week. Our site does not have sewer, which is fine because that actually made settling in really easy. We just had to set up water and electric. So it took literally like maybe one minute and we were good to go. And they do have a dumping station on the way out that looked clean and nice. So that's fine too, considering the amount of space that we're getting here and it's really quiet. It's definitely not the best views. We thought being on a lake it'd be prettier, but it's just flat <laughs> desert <laughs> land with 
a lake in yeah. the middle of it. So it's nothing special, but we have stayed at far uglier for like triple the price. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's just nothing up here in Carlsbad, New Mexico anyway. It's just flat desert. Yeah. Now we're off to do the boring things that we won't take you along on, like grocery shopping and stuff like that. So we will see you on a more adventurous day. Hey guys, so we finally decided to get out of the camper today. Randomly decided to go to Roswell. We wanted to do Roswell and Carlsbad Caverns in the same day. And then after a little more research, we realized that the Carlsbad Caverns are closing early. It's their winter hours. So we broke it up and we're like, all right, I guess we gotta leave and go to Roswell today. So we rushed out of the house. We have about an hour until the museum closes that we wanted to go to. So that's what we are standing outside of right now. Driving into Roswell, we were expecting cheesy alien stuff, which we have already started to see. Um, and to amp ourselves up, we found podcasts about alien stories and things that happened in Roswell. So we're primed and ready to have our own alien experience. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's been cold and there's like a freak snowstorm that's going through and it's <laughs> ravaging Texas right now. Like San Antonio is getting snow. So yeah. we haven't gone outside and it's been cloudy. I think we got a small clip of the snow. Jason got really excited and so did I, but uh, we'll show you that clip now. So I was getting ready to take Carmen outside for her last bathroom break and disconnect our water because it's supposed to get down to freezing tonight, but it's snowing. All right, let's go check out the UFO museum before it closes. Yep. The American Broadcasting Company and affiliated stations present headline edition with Turner Grant. Today's edition presents a roundup of the latest developments in the finding of a flying disc. All right, so we are at the Carlsbad Caverns National Park. We are walking down into the cave. If you haven't been here before, you can either take a guided tour or you can take a self-guided tour. So that's what we opted to do because all the guided tours were sold out like a week in advance. We are just about ready to walk in and look at the entrance. Show it. Maybe the next turn? Yeah, maybe in the shade. Yeah, so that looks fun. <laughs> it's a mile and a quarter down, and then they have an area called Big Room, which is um, some of the obviously largest caverns here, and that is also a mile and a quarter. So we are getting our steps in today for sure. Yeah, and if you don't <laughs> want to do the mile and a quarter down, there's an elevator that yeah. we're going to take up because we don't want to go <laughs> both down and up. Uh, I know it's low lighting in there, so we're going to try and get as much footage as we can to show you. So let's just get right to it.
Alrighty, so we just finished up with the Carlsbad Caverns. I really enjoyed them. They were amazing. They were the biggest caverns that we've ever been in and they were just phenomenal. Like I don't I don't even know how to convey to you how awesome they were. It's crazy. There's just they're so huge. And when you're down there you think about the people that explored them first. Yes. And the lack of light that they must have had and how terrifying that is. Right. And they talk, they actually talk a lot about how they were discovered and like what it was like early on in the first years of the cave. It was actually one guy who discovered them and then started doing his own cave tours. And it was just really scary for people because they realized that if this, if like something happened to this guy, A, there wouldn't be any more cave tours because he's the only one who like memorized all these passageways. And then B, if something happened to him on a tour, <laughs> no one knew how to get out. That was really funny to think about. And I mean, everything originally was just shown by lantern and candlelight. And I can't even imagine doing that. Like you were a major explorer when you were doing that. I would not be a very good cave explorer, even now with the technology we have, because that's just terrifying. Anyway, so definitely highly recommend it. It is in the middle of nowhere, so if you're passing through, that would be perfect. They have a lot of RV parking. They even have a dog kennel up there, which I've never seen before at a national park, but I really like that they offer you that. If you're passing through, you don't have to skip this because they have a kennel there. So that was really cool. The other thing that we wanted to mention is we got to use our national park pass to get us access to oh, the yeah. cave. Um, it's $10 normally, but you can use your, your pass and you can just go wander around by yourself. They have plenty of plaques. Or uh, it's an additional $5 and you get a audio tour thing where you press the button and listen to the, the sayings as you go throughout the cave, mm -hmm. which I recommend. If there's two of you, like us, you can probably get away with one and just turn the volume up. They're only five bucks each, so definitely yeah. recommend that. We didn't do the Ranger tour. They were all sold out, but if you, are planning on coming you can book one in advance i'm sure those are great too i'm sure that's yeah. like 10 times better than the audio tour the last thing we wanted to mention to you was another one of my psa's and it's please don't touch anything ever in a national park especially when they tell you repeatedly not to touch it because this is what will happen to you Those kids didn't listen and look what happened to them. That pretty much wraps up the week for us. We are heading home. We're gonna go grab dinner, clean our trailer for tonight, get ready for another long drive tomorrow. But in the meantime, we are actually curious if any of our viewers have been to Roswell and if you've been to the Carlsbad Caverns as well and did you like it as much as us? And what we're really curious about is, do you believe in aliens? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, and if you have any alien stories, please tell us. We love that kind of stuff. Don't forget to have a close encounter of the third kind with that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss an adventure. And let's get away together next week. Bye, guys. I said subscri subscribe. Perfect.